Hello, everyone. I'm Zhao Chuang. Today, let's draw the body of Carcharodontosaurus. When drawing the body of Carcharodontosaurus, we need to pay attention to the proportion of each part, especially, its head was large. If we draw a Carcharodontosaurus walking toward the audience, because of the perspective relationship, we may need to draw its head bigger, and the other parts far away smaller. So when drawing, we first need to determine the proportions and positions of its head, arms, and legs in the picture, so that we won't draw it out of paper. Now, let's draw the body of Carcharodontosaurus. We first determine its general shape in the picture. Let's begin with its head. The head of Carcharodontosaurus was large, but compared with its whole body, it looked small. So we can't make it occupy a large area, so we draw its head until here, then, moving backward, we can imagine its neck extended here. This area is for its trunk, and the back of its legs may reach here. Further backward would be its tail. We can make its head look slightly bigger, because objects are big when near and small when far. We'll observe from the front and draw a Carcharodontosaurus walking toward our left side. First, let's draw its head and start with its mouth, which was the most distinctive feature of Carcharodontosaurus. Its mouth first bent upward and then downward. When its mouth bent downward, unlike many dinosaurs that had an upward curve, there was a corner here. Although it looked like an S-shape as a whole, it was a bit like a W facing downward. Next, let's draw its teeth. The teeth of Carcharodontosaurus were not very big, compared with its entire head, and they were not as exaggerated as those of Tyrannosaurus rex. Then, let's draw the inside of its mouth. The throat. After that, we move on to its lower jaw. Let's draw its mouth open. Its lower jaw was thick at the rear, and thin at the front. The end of its lower jaw was not sharp, but slightly blunt. Then, let's draw its mandibular teeth, followed by its tongue. Moving upward, let's draw the top of its head. The nose of Carcharodontosaurus was sharp, and its nostrils were around here. Above its nose, there was a big arc. This arc went down near its eyes. Its eyes were small, and their upper part was wrapped by a layer of a keratinous structure. The keratinous structure started from the front end of its nose and forked into two groups. The other side was also like this. Together, they formed to crests similar to those of Dilophosaurus, Of course, they were not as tall as those of Dilophosaurus. At the back, there was a big temporal fenestra downward, which was filled with muscles. The antorbital fenestrae of Carcharodontosaurus were here. Then let's draw the muscles on its lower jaw. After that, let's draw its neck. Followed by its throat downward. On both sides of its neck, there were thick and big muscles. The muscles below were connected to its shoulder blades and coracoids. Its two coracoids constituted its chest.
Its shoulder blades were connected to the muscles at the rear of its neck. The hands of Carcharodontosaurus, like those of Tyrannosaurus rex, were very short. Unlike Tyrannosaurus rex that had only two fingers on each hand, Carcharodontosaurus had three fingers. The middle one was longer and the first claw was the biggest. Then moving backward, we draw its belly. Followed by the pelvis. Thigh, knee. Ankle and foot. The legs of Carcharodontosaurus looked shorter, compared to its trunk. We draw its foot and the four toes on the other leg. Because of the angle, one toe of this foot was blocked. We can draw some big scales on the instep. And the dorsal side of the toes. After that, let's outline the upper part of the ribs, the neural spines. And the ischium, and then draw its tail backward. Because of the perspective, the tail we can see in the angle would look shorter than viewed from the side. Now, let's draw the muscles on both sides of its back and its tail. Lastly, let's draw some folds on its body. And draw its ear. Good like this, we've finished drawing the body of Kaku.